The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. The disciples said to Jesus, Now you are talking plainly and not in any figure of speech. Now we realize that you know everything and that you do not need to have anyone question you. Because of this, we believe that you came from God. Jesus answered them, Do you believe now? Behold, the hour is coming and has arrived when each of you will scatter to his own home. You will leave me alone, but I am not alone, because the Father is with me. I have told you this so that you might have peace in me. In the world, you will have trouble. But take courage, I have conquered the world. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Do we not forget the dynamics of our life in terms of following God? We heard the gospel, we believe, we follow, we remain, and we are being set apart. Hopefully, we all end up in heaven. We have heard the gospel, we believe, we follow, we remain, and we are being set apart. But we cannot do it by ourselves. That's why the Father sent or sent the Holy Spirit to accompany us. My dear friends, my brothers and sisters, but St. John Bosco perhaps understood it more hearing the invocation help of Christian while looking at Mary. We need help. Don't be proud to say, I need no one. Kanya-kanyang pagsubok yan. Kanya-kanyang sabi nga panawagan. At pag naramdaman mo na, hin, na ikaw lang ang gumagawa, lalabas at darating ang araw na baka ikaw ay yumabang, you begin to understand that you can never become as good as you are without the help of God and of Mary, our mother. As I have said this many times, I am not saying this because I'm a priest. But when I was still a student during my college days, I admit that there are a lot of things I cannot understand. Not about the subject, but about life. About life the miseries of life, the many problems about life, so many questions about life, about my family, about our struggle, name it, about being good and yet bad things happen to good people. Maraming tanong. And Many times I find myself just beside the statue of Mary. I do not know if it was coincidental. Early mornings, perhaps, I will find myself in Baklaran saying nothing, doing nothing, just seated. I do not know the prayer, the novena to the perpetual help during those times. 
I just sit. I just look and gaze at the face of Mary. Sometimes nakakalimutan ng siguro na nag, naglilinis ng simbahan na bukas yung choir loft. Nakakaakyat ako doon. Doon ako sa taas. Pinagtatawanan ko nga minsan kasi yung imahin ng mahal na birhen. Makikita mo pinipilit ng abutin ng tao. Ano po? Yung Immaculate Conception. Kasi mahilig talaga tayo magpupunas, hindi po ba? Ha? Pinipilit nilang abutin yun. Ano po? At yung maliliit na tao, hindi naman nila kita kung ano nahahawakan nila. Ang napupunasan nila yung ulo ng demonyo. Hindi po ba? At yun ang pinupunas sa mga mukha nila at anak nila. Hindi ba? Sabi ko, hala, ha? Sa tinagal-tagal ko doon, nawala na yung sungay ng demonyo, kapupunas, ano po? Nagmukhang kerubin, di ba? Nagmukhang kerubin. Nakatapos ako ng college, graduate ako, nagtrabaho, pari na, ano pa. And those memories would always accompany me in times of joys and sorrows. Mahalaga yung meron kang binabalikan. Mahalagang meron kang binabalikan. Na kung saan, sa gitna ng malaking problema at hirap ng buhay, may magpapaalala sa iyong, hindi kita pababayaan. Hindi kita pababayaan. When I was in the seminary, when I was in the seminary, I have so many questions. But my good spiritual director would always remind me to look at Mary. To look at Mary. Not to do some prayers, just simply look at Mary. Sit and allow to be gazed by the mother. Marami kang hindi maintindihan. At ngayong ikaw ay pari na, lalo kang mas maraming hindi maintindihan. And I guess the Salesian sisters have the same experience and predicament. Marami kang hindi maintindihan. Hopefully, pagdating ng araw, maintindihan mo. Pero, hindi ibig sabihin kung hindi mo naintindihan, ito ang dahilan para hindi manalig o manampalataya. Not to understand is not the reason for you not to believe and continue what you have started. And this is the grace we would like to ask, not only for ourselves, but in a special way to our Salishans, brothers and sisters. Do not forget this, that you always have a mother who is your help. Hindi naman ibig sabihin, pag may tumutulong, naintindihan mo. Ang mahalaga, na naramdaman mo na mayroon tumutulong sa iyo. Kasi pag kamisan bumibigat ang mga problema dahil feeling mo, ikaw lang yan. Pero kahit gano'ng kabigat ang problema, kung alam mong meron kang katulong, medyo gumagaan. Medyo gumagaan. Pero, ang aking paalala, si Maria ay hindi konsintidor na ina. I remember a story of a man so little boy pushing the cart, nagtutulak ng kariton. Tinulungan ng, ng lalaking ito. Kasama ng kanyang kaibigan, ang mga batang nagtutulak ng kariton. At habang tumatagal, yung mga bata, naramdaman nilang hindi na mabigat ang pagtutulak. Bumitaw sa pagtutulak. Bumitaw. At nagsimulang maglaro. Hindi na nagtulak. Yung lalaki tumulong sa pagtutulak, binitawan ang pagtutulak. Iniwan ang kariton. 
at sabi ng kaibigan, oh, bakit mo binitawan? Ang sabi ng lalaki, dumating ako para tumulong, hindi kunin sa kanila ang kanilang responsibilidad. Perhaps it's good also to remember that we have a mother who helps us but not to take away from us our responsibility. To my dear sisters, keep that in mind. Life will always be difficult. The desire to be holy will always be difficult. There will remain so many questions. Do not forget, you have a mother who helped. And second, do not forget that she will continue to make you remember that you still are the one who is to be responsible. My brothers and sisters, as we journey towards heaven, do not forget this. We ask the Holy Spirit to illumine our minds that what we have heard, it will be able for us to believe, to follow, to remain, and hopefully to be set apart. You are solutions. You are being set apart. You are a solutions. You are being set apart. Embrace the call. Amen. Many have been asking if I am a Salishans. And the simple answer is, I am not. Because I am not good enough. They are too good. Anyway, remember this, my dear friends, my brothers and sisters. By the way, God, Mary, the saints would love that you come to them and ask for their prayers. But they would love it more when you simply come and sit. They would love it more when, they would, when you would simply come and sit, wasting time with them. Minsan gawin mo yan. Maupo ka lang sa harapan ng mahal na birhen. Do nothing. Just being a company. And you will understand it more. We heard, we have heard, we believe, we follow, we remain. And hopefully we are being set apart. You can never do it alone. You need the Holy Spirit and you need the help of Mary. The Lord be with you.